Very good. Good job. Okay, so now we have a new memory verse this week, and now we're going on to the book of Exodus. This one's very easy. I think everyone should be able to remember this one. Okay, so let's read it together. This is Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. All right, so Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Let's see if I can do it. You ready? I'll just say it myself. Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Did I get it right? Yeah. Oh, you guys had your eyes closed. Did I get it right? Good. Anyone else want to have a go? Simon, you have a go. Very good. I saw a hand up car over here. You want to have a go, Zephy? Have? Very good. That was close. Okay, we'll get another chance at the end. So get a quick, quick look. Say, so have a quick look. And we can get another chance at the end, all right? So that's our memory verse for today, because today we're going to be talking about the Ten Commandments. You know that verse? Do you know what it was? What was it? Oh, not the third one. It was the first one. Third one. We're going to go through the different Ten Commandments today, so you can learn what they are. And we know our memory verse today is the very first commandment. First of the Ten Commandments, thou shalt have no other gods before me. So the Ten Commandments were the Ten Commandments written by the finger of God. Do you remember when Moses went up to the mountain? Do you remember he got the two tablets of stone? And on the two tablets of stone, there were the Ten Commandments written on either side. This is what made these ones important because these were the ones that God actually wrote on the stone with his finger. Isn't that right? Yeah. So we're going to go through. I'm just going to show you some pictures to go through the different Ten Commandments, because we only want to focus on one verse today, which is, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. So that's the first of the Ten Commandments. You can see, remember this picture? Where everybody is worshipping God, first and foremost. That's the first commandment. When it says, No other gods before me, obviously we can't have false gods, gods that aren't true gods. And then we also have the second commandment. The second commandment, what do you think the second commandment is about? Based on this picture. What do you think the second commandment is? Do you want to have a guess? Cheat. Yeah, it's number two, that's right, Noah. Do you want to have a guess? Here's a hint. What's that? Try Sarah. What's that? Yeah, well, we don't want to worship other gods, but also the Bible talks about not making a molten or a graven image and then bowing down to the image. See, look at this. See, people have statues. That's not the problem. The problem is when you make a statue and you think it's God and you bow down and you worship it. Okay, so the first commandment, well, you're right, Sarah, is you have no other gods because sometimes you can have a wrong God that's not a statue. But then the second commandment is talking about don't make a statue like we see here. These are the children of Israel. They made the golden cup and they're bowing down, worshipping the statue. Okay, it's not good. All right, so that's the second commandment. Third commandment, what's this one? What's this? What do you, can you see here? He's sleeping on the table. He's sleeping on a table. Yeah, I think that's the ground. What if I told you this man was a Christian? You'd be like, oh, that's not good. Drinking too much, getting drunk. So the third commandment is you don't take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. What does that mean? Some people think it means, you know, when you say God or you say the word Jesus. No, this is talking about if you're a Christian and you call yourself a Christian, you take the name of God, but you don't live the way a Christian should live. Right, so you're taking his name and you're saying, I'm a Christian, but you are doing disservice to his name by calling yourself after him, but you're living a life that is not 
Good, taking his name in vain. Okay, verse, oh, number four. Here's a hint. What was number four about? Tenth commandment. Do you remember? That's right. He made, the, he made all things in six days. And what did he do the seventh day? Timothy. He rested. So commandment number four is remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. We don't have day seven here, but it would have been here. So this is where we get the principle that we should work six days and we should rest one day. Right? We don't keep a specific day anymore in the New Testament, but the principle still is there where people should not be working seven days a week. You need to rest. You know, it's good for man to be able to rest one day. All right, commandment of number five of the Ten Commandments. Here's a hint on what it's about. Do you know what it is? Atticus, you want to have a go? No, Timothy, you want to have a go? What do you think it's about? Sorry? Love your neighbor? No, that's the one of the, that's two of the one and second great commandments, but we're talking about the Ten Commandments, the ones that God wrote on the tablet. Which one? You want to have a go? What do you think it's about? Here's a hint. Parents are playing with the baby, yes. The number five is honor thy mother and father. Okay, and that means we need to show our mother and father the due respect to them because they're our mother and father and God commands us to respect them. Honor thy mother and father. That's number five. Number six. What do you think number six of the Ten Commandments is? You want to go? It's not putting your hand up. That's not number six. Simon? No, that's not stealing. But well, that's one of them. We're coming up to that one. This one is what happens when somebody... Dead. Dead? What do you think the commandment is? Have another go. Thou shalt not kill is number six. And we know it's talking about murder. It's when you kill innocent people. It's not good. Some people kill them out of hatred. Some people kill them because it's inconvenient to them. They kill their babies in the womb. That's murder as well. Thou shalt not kill is number six. Number seven. Here's a hint. What do you think, Abel? He rested? No? What's this? What do you think this is, Sarah? Getting married. So what do you think the seventh commandment is? It's to do with getting married. What do you think, Simon? Right, well, that's the tenth commandment. That's close, but this is similar. If you covet your neighbor's wife, then what happens if people take the next step? What is it called? Bad step. Starts with A. Adult. Yeah, that's it. Thou shalt not commit adultery. So I got seven here because people make a covenant. They make a promise, don't they, when they get married, to say, it's only me and only you. We're going to be together and we're not going to be with anyone else, but sometimes people break their vow and they go and be with somebody else. That's called adultery. And the Bible says, number seven, the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not commit adultery. Simon, you knew this one? Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not steal. Now, sometimes when you think of a thief, you think of somebody that's got like a mask and he's creeping around. Sometimes stealing, sometimes little children go into the store and they steal candy. They steal chocolates. They steal toys. Okay? That's the same thing as stealing. as taking something that doesn't belong to you. Right? Steal. Thou shalt not steal. Okay? That's number eight. Number nine. What do you think it is? What do you think they're doing here? What do you think? Telling a secret, that's true. But what is sometimes telling a secret, sometimes the secret you're telling somebody is not true. You're saying something about somebody else that's not true. So what do you think this one's about? Thou shalt not. Lie. Thou shalt not. Well, it's not thou shalt not lie, it's thou shalt not bear false witness. Right? So bearing false witness is when you're saying something wrong about somebody else, or you're saying something wrong about them to get them in trouble, right? Sometimes that happens in the form of gossip. 
I know children sometimes do that. You know, sometimes you say, you spread rumors about other children that are not true. Well, the Bible says, thou shalt not bear false witness. It is, it is lying as well, Simon, so you're not completely wrong. But, and one way you can remember that nine is about lying is we, we think a lying nine. If you remember a lying nine, then you know the ninth commandment is thou shalt not bear false witness. See? And children do it too. Isn't that right, Atticus? Children do it too. Not just adults. Okay, last one. Huh? That's tw no, that's uh, ten. Ten commandments. Twelve disciples. Ten commandments. What do you think this one is about? Yeah, Matea knows. Okay, Matea, what do you think? No, that was, not, that was eight, remember? That was thou shalt not steal. What's this one? They're all trying to get money. What is that called? Um. Hello, Simon, try again. Thou shalt, thou shalt not covet. That's right, that's where you have to covet thy neighbor's wife and maid servant, man servant, all that sort of stuff. Thou shalt not covet. All right, so we just go through them really quick again. Number one, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Number two, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Number three, don't take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Number four is remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Number five, honor thy mother and thy father. Number six, thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, and thou shalt not covet. Okay, that's the Ten Commandments. Okay, so let's go back to our memory verse and see who remembers it. Who wants to have a go? Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. I'll give you a quick look. Quick look, try and remember it, try and remember it. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. We'll read it together, and then a we'll few, few of you guys can have a go memorizing it. Remember? Here we, let's read it together. You ready? Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. All right. Mateo.